in continuation to the previous video uh, let us solve one more numerical on edta hi i am neha and welcome back to my channel uh, let us solve such type of questions like if you want to go in the detail of the theory if you want to revise please do uh, watch other videos where i have discussed edta method in detail i have shown how to perform it in laboratory and then i have posted video of uh, how to solve the questions uh, two videos are there i'll put the link in the description so please just have a revision from there this video is intended to solve this question only so let us go ahead with 100 ml of water sample is titrated with 0 0.01 molar edta now when such type of questions are there in which the molarity is disclosed as 0 0.01 molar it, there are actually two ways to solve such questions and i'll tell you both of the ways one is what we have done in the previous video so first i'll solve the question using the same method and second is a very very easy trick that i'll tell you at the end now in this question they say is there are two readings so titration one reading is 20 ml very quickly consume with tap water and I hope you remember this is going to give you the total hardness of the water sample. And then in order to find out uh, the permanent hardness, you boil the water and you perform the same titration and you get a reading. 10 ml is utilized. So this is going to give you the reading for permanent hardness as you have already removed the temporary hardness on boiling. Now here you have to calculate both of the hardnesses temporary and permanent and that too in degree French. So let us quickly use uh, the case 1. Uh, which is your uh, total hardness and what are you going to use is m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 and m1 v1 uh, would be for water and m2 v2 would be for edta so let us see what are to be written m1 v1 means molarity that is what you're supposed to find out as of now volume how much water was utilized 100 ml so we'll multiply 100 here and then is equal to what m2 m2 is molarity of edta which is 0 0.01 molar multiply by the volume titration one reading is 20 so if you solve this uh, you're going to get 0 0.002 molarity which is nothing but mole per liter now in order to convert it into strength molarity is to be utilized just like we did it in the previous video i showed you how the strength is converted into hardness here also similarly we are going to multiply the molarity with molar mass now molarity is basically your mole per liter and molar mass is your gram per mole so basically if you multiply that you are going to get the strength in gram per liter fine so let, let us multiply the molarity 0, 0.0 uh, no it's 0. 0, 0, 0.002 and then uh, you multiply it with molar mass of CaCO3 which is 100 that is going to give you the answer in gram per liter but the hardness is in milligram per liter so you multiply it with 1000 and that is going to give you the answer which is 200 milligram per liter or you may call it as ppm in milligram and milligram per liter and ppm are same now uh, they say that you have to report the result in degree french so one ppm is one part of the hardness dissolved in 10 to the power six parts of water while degree french is basically one part of hardness dissolved in 10 to the power 5 parts of water so if i have to convert ppm into degree french obviously i have to multiply the ppm with 0.1 that point 10 points 10 to the power 6 if you multiply it with 0.1 is going to convert into 10 to the power 5 so this is going to give you the answer in degree french so you multiply it with 0.1 you will get 20 degree french is a total hardness now going ahead uh, with the same uh, method let us go ahead with the case 2 case 2 was the titration 2 titration 2 uh, reading was for permanent hardness so i'll again write m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 for water m1 is to be calculated volume you pipetted out 100 ml uh, m2 is 0 0.01 molar and v2 is the reading of burette which is given in the question 10 now if you solve this you will get 0 0.001 molarity or mole per liter now in order to convert it into strength 
uh, utilize the same molarity into the molar mass fine and if you do that uh, i hope you will get the answer that is 0.1 gram per liter converted into milligram per liter that is your 100 milligram per liter or you may call it as ppm now in order to convert it into degree french what will you do you remember 10 to the power 6 was ppm 10 to the power 5 was degree french so you just multiply 100 into 0.1 and that will give you 10 degree french so as of now your total hardness is 20 degree french and your permanent hardness is 10 degree french so in order to get the temporary hardness obviously you are going to subtract permanent from total and that is going to give you 10 degree french simple so what we did was m1 v1 m2 v2 simple that is the thing now i'm going to give you one more trick wherein you are not supposed to use this lengthy procedure and it would be easy for you to calculate what are you going to do when it is 0 0.01 molar then it is very easy that you assume that 1 ml of your edta is going to react with 1 mg of your hardness as of now we'll call it as csu3 fine so now if 20 ml was the reading 20 ml edta was consumed in the first hardness so if 20 ml is the reading that means 20 ml edta was consumed so it might have reacted with 20 mg of CaCO3 correct now this 20 mg of CaCO3 was present in only 100 ml of water correct as per the titration as per the titration we took 100 ml fine so how to find out it for 1000 ml simple so 100 ml water contains 20 mg of CaCO3 so 1000 ml of water contains how much 20 by 100 into 1000 and that is going to give you 200 milligram per liter or you may call it as ppm very simple right so that is the that is the trick fine what is the trick that if you understand that the molarity is question is 0 0.01 molar edta you can directly utilize this that 1 ml edta reacts with 1 mg CoCO3. so in this question if 10 ml is the reading for permanent hardness so 10 ml edta might have reacted with 10 mg of CaCO3. So, your 100 ml water which you titrated contains 10 mg of CaCO3, fine, as permanent hardness. So, for 1000 ml water, how much CaCO3 is there? 10 by 100 into 1000, simple. So, that will give you 100 milligram uh, per liter. So, likewise, you are going to get this answer, fine, 100 milligram per liter. So, we will write uh, milligram per liter yeah but uh, we have to calculate it in degree French also so milligram per liter so now you have got 200 milligram per liter and 100 milligram per liter the same answer degree French uh, you may convert it here only so with that I hope you have understood the funda if it is 0 0.01 molar you may either utilize m1 v1 equation or may directly be utilized this kind of trick can directly be utilized so if you have liked the content please hit like and do mention in the comment how do you like it and please don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you so much